What's going on friends? Sonel here. Welcome back. And guess what? It's 2025 beekeeping season. Yes, it has started. Today is February 25th. It's about 65 outside and we have lots of bees flying around. So I wanted to give you an update on my apiary, how my bees did over the winter, what I'm going to spring with. And I do have an announcement to make at the end of the video. It is huge for me and I'm super excited about it. So Stay tuned, this is not gonna be a long video, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update as to how my bees did. So as I'm sure everybody's heard about bee losses this year, I will not be commenting on that. I do have my own thoughts about it, but um, I do recommend waiting for some information to come out so we actually know what happened. Um, there is a lot of conspiracy theories and not a, a lot of opinions out there, to be honest, so you can, you can kind of get uh, caught up into all that and you know, I've even seen people arguing, don't do that, stick together, we'll find out what happened. Um, hopefully, you know, there is a chance we will never find out, but today's technology, I believe we will have some information and we can prevent that going into future. So myself, I've had losses about 40, 50%. I went into fall with about, I, I believe 15 hives and then during the fall, I lost couple and I had to combine couple of hives too. So currently I'm at seven hives, which is about 50% losses. Um, I did check all of my hives and I could account one to being a dead out due to mites because they were all on the bottom. And I did a couple of uh, washes and I did see that they had high mite load, but all the other hives, I don't really have an explanation. I do, I do think uh, weather last year contributed to this. This is my opinion. Uh, because of all the drought, I've noticed that going into winter, it was so warm and bees just kept um, probably thinking it's summertime or, or whatever because there's no pollen, no, no nectar coming in at all. And I've seen throughout the fall, my bees dwindling. Even the seven hives I have left are not the strongest hives. So I'm hoping they build up this spring. So I'm thinking it just, it was no pollen, no nectar coming in the fall and bees did not prepare as well. It's just my opinion, like I said, because we had hot weather, summer-like weather late into the fall and then it was just cold. Now over the winter, I did do some things. I did uh, make, as you can see back here, hive stains for all my um, Apame hives and Hive IQ hives. Um, obviously my horizontal hives are just stationary. I do move them around. I did do a little bit of rearranging in the apiary, but that's about it. Um, I will keep you updated as we go this spring because I will change a little bit of my uh, basically management strategy here. Um, and I will keep you updated as I go through the videos. I will do a little bit of different things um, just for overall management and hopefully keep these bees healthy and going into winter so we can have 100% survival. This is going to be a good year, I think. I believe so. I hope it's a good year for you and for myself and everybody else. So I had some people ask me which hives survived and uh, were any hives better than others? Um, no, I don't think so. So I had a couple of Epame survive, a couple of Hive IQ hives, a couple of nooks, a few nooks actually died, few survived, even my long hives, same thing. So it's kind of a 50-50. I don't think a uh, hive had anything to do with losses and i don't know really if i can contribute my losses to anything so uh like i said i'm waiting for information to come out and then we'll go from there i did order a few packages to expand my apiary uh i'm gonna probably have uh, 11 hives i believe this spring and then i'm gonna try to push that up to 20 this uh spring i do like i said uh the announcement i have might keep me from doing all this but i'll do my best so I would like to get up to 15, 20 at least, and then make some nooks to, to overwinter. Uh, so I have a good start next spring. I will keep uh, uh, videos going. I'll keep you updated as we go this spring. So that's about it for my APR. If you have any questions, as always, just ask me down there. I don't mind answering. But now we're going to go back to the announcement that I was telling you about. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip my camera and you'll see what I'm talking about. And here we go. So if you've been watching my channel, you know that um, I haven't been living where my apiary is and that is about to change because after a few years of cleaning the lot and thinking about it, we decided to build a house here on a um, couple of acres that we have. 
So I'll just show you a little bit um, what this is going to look like. And I can't even start to explain how excited we are about this. As you can see, this is just the start. Um, they just dug up the foundation and actually tomorrow morning they're going to put the frost footers in and probably next week are going to be walls are going to be up. So as you can see behind me is my apiary, which I'm super excited about. It's about 150 feet away from the house. I'm hoping that's not a problem for people coming over and the kids and everybody, but I'll do my best to keep the bees away. <laughs> However, I can't really control that. As you can see, my house is going to be this way. Um, just to my left, I have my neighbor, and then I have uh, my orchard there. I have a lot of different fruits um, that I've been meaning to make videos about, just no time. And now if I look at behind me down on the bottom, there is my honey shed. I call it honey shed because all the honey equipment's in there. And now down at the bottom, my property actually goes into the pond. There is a five acre pond that we restocked just two years ago. We actually cleaned the whole thing out, made it deeper and restocked it. So I'm kind of excited about that too. So I can be, I can do a little fishing. And then up front where you come in, there is a road up there um and that's going to be the driveway so let me know if you'd like to see uh some videos about this actually i'm super excited like i said i might do like a weekly or bi-weekly video just keep updates and maybe not provide all of the details so hopefully i have time to actually make these videos well that is it for this video my friends super excited a lot of things happening this summer i'll be busy as a bee believe me so thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.